Hey guys, today is 6-25-2010, that would be in June 25th, 2010, and today I am talking to you about Google Voice, which I've started uh, messing around with a little bit. I've had the account for quite a while now, uh, but just never did anything with it because I just got a cell phone uh, yesterday, so a new cell phone yesterday, so I decided to actually mess around with it. Um, Google Voice, you could split yourself into two things, uh, this actually decided to... Uh, use Google Voice as a uh, inbox, as a voicemail um, for my phone. Instead of using the Verizon one, uh, which is always so nice, um, I'm actually going to use Google Voice, which I can check. So that means I can basically check all my voicemails on the computer. And let me tell you, it needs work. Uh, it was in the beta stage for a while, uh, and I was out of the beta stage, and I think I should go back in this beta stage. Um, now, please listen to the message that I actually left myself from my mom's phone, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Hey, I'm testing out Google Voice. Uh, this is a test for Google Voice, and it's test one, two, and I want to make sure it's clear. Okay, test two, three, test. Now, notice how it kind of... Uh, got itself close. It says, hey, I'm testing out pool. Please. This is a struggle voice. And it tests one, two, and I should play okay. Test, two, three, test. So, um, yeah, I did say test, two, three, test. I said, hey, I'm testing out. But yeah, I said Google Voice, not pool. So it does need a little bit of work on that uh, aspect of it but um but like like you can actually play it so obviously this is not what I said I would not go by this at all because it's going to send you a text message it's going to say oh yeah so and so sent you this which I am going to turn off but I'm going to show you how to do it first so uh, yes I have been messing around with it and you can place calls as well right from here and if you have your phone hooked up to um, if you have your cell phone hooked up to this, all you have to do is put in place a call, put in the person's name, and it will place the call for you uh, no, with no problem. You, it will call, actually call your cell phone. It will call your cell phone and then it will connect you to a number similar to uh, Google uh, 411. Okay, so let me show you that it has sent me an email for everything. So if you get a voicemail, you know about it. <laughs> and it said, oh yeah, you got a voicemail from Christy Billings. Okay, would you like to play it? But we'll also translate it for you in the wrong thing. Um, so, and then it also says, you got a voicemail. This is a voicemail telling me that I got a voicemail. And then I go back to my inbox. And this is something telling me, hey, welcome to Google Voice. So, yeah, it's telling me that I joined Google Voice, blah, blah, blah. Uh, thank you for joining, blah, blah, blah. And uh, now, to show you the best part of all, um, you can actually get a widget to go into anything, an HTML-enabled widget, similar to embedded widget, rather, uh, to, like, uh, similar to YouTube videos when you enable or embed a uh, YouTube video into another site. You can, I have this thing called leave me a voicemail, show you what it looks like, leaves me a voicemail, so you can simply call that number, you click on it, it'll ask you for your name and phone number, so this way it can uh, leave the proper information for me, and I can always get back to you, it's on the tech blog, uh, on let's talk tech one at dot blogspot.com, and uh, it's, it will just ask you for your number, so this way, okay, you know, your number, blah, blah, blah. Okay, keep my number private. If you have your um, your if you have a Google Voice and you have your information saved, it'll probably automatically ins insert this information. Let's see, what else should I cover? Uh, send you crap load. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you how to get rid of that mail thing, which I don't even know if I know how to do it. But I'm gonna try. Voicemail widgets. Oh yeah. Voicemail widgets, you go into settings, and it's right there, voicemail widgets, uh, voicemail. We'll find out.
if I can do this. Uh, email me a message. Right here. Uh, under settings and voicemail. Um, it'll say alert me when I have new voicemails. Get rid of the email. Um, cause, well, you know what? If you, if you don't check your Google Voice that often, like, I mean, I have a thing right up here that tells me, uh, my Google Reader, Google Voice, Google Wave, um, it's called number, one number or something like that, and it's on, uh, Chrome. Um, and if you don't check your, check your email, and you don't have a, a widget like this to tell you if you have a thing, and sending it to your email would be smart, uh, sending a text message to your phone, uh, to say that you got a new one, it's, it is important to be that you are updated that you got a message. The nice thing about this is, uh, the nice thing about the fact, you can add another mobile phone. So you can actually have that, uh, somebody leave you a message on my phone, and I have a second phone, I can always, it can always send me a text message on that other phone and say, oh, well you got a voicemail from that other phone. Uh, so that's useful in every single way possible. And again, uh, it'll ask you to put in a PIN number. Um, groups, which I still haven't figured out yet, which is your basically your Google Groups. Uh, if anybody has any info with that, please put that in the description. And again, um, I'm Alan Billings from Let's Talk Tech, and I am just telling you about Google Voice. And if you guys have any other comments, or just rate this video, comments in the section below. And yeah, rate the crap out of this video. <laughs>